Everyone has an instinctive understanding of force. In our experience, objects need to be pushed, carried or thrown for them to deform or break. When a moving object strikes us or when we are in a merry-go-round, for example, we feel the impact of forces on us. It's not simple to go from this intuitive idea to the correct scientific concept of force. Aristotle and other early thinkers had the wrong views about it. Isaac Newton came to an accurate understanding of force in his renowned laws of motion. Additionally, he provided a clear definition of the gravitational force between two bodies. These topics will be covered in later chapters. In the microscopic world, in addition to gravitational force, we also encounter a variety of other forces including muscular force, contact force between bodies, friction which is also a contact force parallel to the surfaces in contact, we have tension forces exerted by compressed or elongated springs, taut strings and ropes, buoyancy forces when solids come into contact with fluids, pressure forces due to fluids, and surface tension forces due to liquids. Additionally, some forces include charged and magnetic bodies. We have electric and magnetic forces, nuclear forces involving protons and neutrons, interatomic and intermolecular interactions, etc. in the macroscopic realm. In the following chapters of this course, we will become familiar with some of these factors. The realization that only a limited number of fundamental forces in nature are responsible for all of these distinct forces appearing in various circumstances is a breakthrough in 20th century physics. For instance, the elastic spring force develops as a result of the net attraction or repulsion between the spring's nearby atoms when the spring is stretched or compressed. The unbalanced sum of the electric forces between the charged elements of the atoms is the cause of this net net attraction or repulsion. In theory, this implies that the laws governing the right forces such as friction and spring forces are dependent on those governing the basic forces of nature. But these derived forces have a very complicated history. Currently, our knowledge of nature is limited to four fundamental forces which are briefly outlined here. Gravitational force. By virtue of their masses, any two objects are attracted to one another by gravitational pull. It is a universal force. Due to all other objects in the cosmos, every object feels this force. For instance, the Earth's gravitational pull is felt by all objects on the planet. The motion of the moon and man-made satellites around the Earth the motion of the planets around the sun and, of course, the motion of objects falling to the earth are all specifically governed by gravity. It is essential to the production and development of stars, galaxies and galactic clusters as well as other large-scale cosmological phenomena. Electromagnetic force The force between charged particles is called the electromagnetic force. Coulomb's law provides the force in the simplest scenario of charges at rest. It is attractive for the similar charges and repulsive for similar charges. Magnetic effects are produced by moving charges and a magnetic field creates a force that acts on a moving charge. The electromagnetic force is a general inseparability of electric and magnetic effects, hence the name. The electromagnetic force acts across very wide distances and does not require any intermediary medium like the gravitational force. Concerning gravity, it is incredibly powerful. For any particular distance, the electric force between two protons, for instance, is 1036 times greater than the gravitational force between them. As we all know, the basic charge components of matters are electrons and protons. At atomic and molecular scales, the electromagnetic force predominates all phenomena because it's so much greater than the gravitational force. As we shall see, the other forces are at the nuclear scale only. Thus, the kinetics of chemical reactions, the structure of atoms and molecules, and the mechanical, thermal, and other properties of materials are all primarily governed by electromagnetic force. The microscopic forces such as tension, friction, normal force, 
spring force, etc. are based on it. While electromagnetic force can be either attractive or repulsive, gravity is always attractive. Another way to say it is that unlike charge, which comes in both positive and negative kinds, mass only exists in one variety. There is no such thing as negative mass. This is the crucial difference. Most matter is electrically neutral, net charge is zero. As a result, gravitational force predominates in terrestrial phenomena, whereas electric force is essentially zero. In the atmosphere, where ionized atoms appear as electric force, lightning results. If we stop and think for a moment, we can see how much stronger electromagnetic force is than gravity. When we hold the book in our hands, we are balancing the gravitational pull that the Earth's massive mass has on the book with the normal force that our hands provide. Strong Nuclear Force Protons and neutrons are held together in a nucleus by a strong nuclear force. A nucleus will be unstable without an attractive force because of the electromagnetic repulsion between its protons. Since the electric force is so much stronger than the gravitational force, this attractive force cannot be gravitational. Therefore, a new basic force must be invoked. The electromagnetic force is around 100 times weaker than the strong nuclear force, making it the strongest of all fundamental forces. It has no regard for charge and functions equally between protons and protons, neutrons and neutrons, and proton and a neutron. However, it has a very narrow range around nuclear dimensions of 10 raised to the power of negative 15 meters. It is in charge of ensuring the stability of nuclei. It should be noted that the electron is not affected by this force. However, recent findings suggest that protons and neutrons are composed of even more fundamental components known as quarks. Weak nuclear force only a few nuclear activities like disintegration of a nucleus exhibit a weak nuclear force. The neutrino and an electron are both released by the nucleus during decay. The weak nuclear force is substantially weaker than the strong nuclear and electromagnetic forces, though not as weak as the gravitational force. A weak nuclear force has an extremely short range on the order of 10 raised to the power of negative 16 meters. Towards Unification of Forces In physics, unification is a fundamental objective. The merger of several ideas and domains frequently results in significant advances in physics. Newton combined the celestial and earthly realms under a single gravitational law. Electric and magnetic phenomena are typically intertwined according to experimental findings by Oersted and Faraday. Maxwell discovered that light is an electromagnetic wave, uniting electromagnetism and optics. Although Einstein tried, he was unable to combine gravity and electromagnetic. But physicists continued to work fervently for the unification of forces despite this. This front has made significant development in recent decades. Since they have been combined, the electromagnetic and weak nuclear force are now referred to as components of a single electroweak force. This unification's significance cannot be stated in full here. It has been attempted and is still being attempted to combine the electroweak and strong forces, as well as the gravity forces with the other fundamental forces. Many of these concepts are still hypothetical and unproven.